Hey guys, today we're going to be reviewing this Honeywell floor lamp that they kindly sent out to me for this review. Specifically, the model is the HWL02E Pro. So we're going to be starting with unboxing and then we're going to go over all of the features and how this thing goes together. All right, so we just took it out of the main box that kind of helps make sure that this arrives in one piece. We get a bunch of instructions here on how to put it together. All right, so in the box, you guys get a user manual. Looks like the power cable looks pretty similar to the type of cable that powers up a PC. You guys get all the bolts and screws necessary and the little tool to actually tie everything down. On the top here, this appears to be the actual light fixture. So I'm gonna be very careful with this. Comes wrapped already. So that is a nice touch. I'm gonna gently set this to the side. Here's another part that goes to the light fixture. This looks like part of the stand, another part of the stand, and these feel like real metal. And then the last piece, probably the heaviest piece, this is the actual stand. And this is very heavy. This probably has to be at least 20 plus pounds. So this will make sure that your light fixture doesn't fall over. So we're gonna go ahead and start putting us together and hopefully it doesn't take too long. It looks pretty simple. So I'll see you guys in just one moment. All right, so we just unwrapped most of the items right here. You basically have four main parts right there. And yes, they do give you some gloves here to wear while you guys put this together because there can be some sharp edges. So just in case you guys are worried about that, they got you covered. All right, so we're gonna be starting off by putting together the main pole that holds us up. So all you guys have to do is plug in these two ends right here. And after you guys plug that in, you guys are just gonna slide this together with the knob up top. So we're gonna use screw C and we're gonna use their little hand tool here to get this all screwed together. And they do give you an extra screw just in case. All right, so next up, we're gonna screw the base into this beam right here. We just need to make sure that this little outlet here is facing out. So we're gonna try and do it something like this, slide it in, and now we're gonna use the A screws to tighten this all down. And once again, they do give you an extra adjust in case. Next up, we're gonna unscrew this panel right here, and this is just gonna help us assemble the actual light fixture to the stand that we just put together. These panels are gonna be facing down. So we're gonna get the other end here, pull that out of the actual uh, metal stand there. All right, so now we're gonna connect those, and we're gonna push this into place and try and get these cables tucked back in. So to tie this down, we're gonna be using the B screws. So let's turn this thing on and see just how bright it is. You're gonna turn it on by twisting this and we're gonna go all the way up to 100% here. So something cool about this is this knob, you can adjust it all the way from 100% like so, all the way down to 10% and then of course off. But we're gonna keep it as bright as it gets just so we could review this and it's full glory. So my initial thoughts, this is very bright and I really appreciate that the light doesn't just come out the bottom. It also shines up top, so it really fills the room up. It does have a very strong metal design. So a giant metal plate on the bottom, this is all metal and it's painted white and it looks very nice. Even up top here is all metal. There's barely any plastic on this thing. This might be the only piece of plastic that I could find. And because of this plate being so heavy, it's very sturdy. It's not gonna be falling over. So a few cool things about this lamp here is this is actually a 4000K color temperature lamp, which means that it's very similar to actual daylight. So it gives the room a very natural look. There's also no blue light for this, which is very nice and easier on your eyes. And there's no flicker for people that are filming a lot. So if you guys are using this to film at your desk, this is great for that. And going back to the natural color of this light, this thing's CRI rating is greater than or equal to 97 which is extremely high. And just in case you guys don't know, CRI means the coloring rendering index, which basically affects how natural something's color is under the light. So if you guys have a very low CRI rating, then it's gonna have more of a green tint to it. But with this, you guys are gonna have a very natural look to it. It's gonna look like you're outside in broad daylight and the color is gonna be more true to itself. So if you guys are doing a lot of photography or artwork or filming, this is extremely helpful. So now let's talk about the actual build design. It is extremely tall. I'm five foot nine. So this is still taller than me. 
it's probably well over six foot right there. And thanks to this design, you guys could tuck this behind a desk because the pull's off to the side. So you guys could get this very close to the wall. It's not gonna take up a lot of space. If you guys are putting this in your living room, you guys could tuck this under your couch or under an entryway table. And I think it is also worth noting that there are little rubber feet on the bottom of this, just in case you guys are putting this on like a wood floor, it's not gonna scratch it up. So personally for me, this is gonna be very helpful for filming. I'm gonna be able to stick this right behind my desk and have perfect lighting right on top of whatever I'm working on while also adding light to the room through the top. The build quality is amazing. It was very easy to put together. The packaging was great. And overall, the build quality is great. So anyways, that is it for my review of this Honeywell floor lamp.